Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is Day. In today's video, we're gonna do a collection update, a really large collection update. This is the biggest collection uh, collection update I've done on the channel thus far. We have 53 titles that we're adding to the collection that I picked up over the last three weeks, maybe four weeks, three yeah, like three weeks that I've been picking up. Um, a lot of stuff here. So we got a ultra mega deluxe super haul from ebay um two so we got uh, a little small pickup and a haul from ebay two movies from one seller and like 24 from another i have a haul from best buy and a nice size haul from goodies disc exchange so without further ado let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the two titles that i picked up from the movies and games store that's an ebay reseller they sell movies and games um it's a pretty decent store. They they sent me a, a 10% off, a 15% off coupon. So I picked up two titles that I wouldn't mind having for a reasonable price. And those two titles is Carrie. I do like this artwork. This is Carrie on Blu-ray, of course. This is a DVD upgrade. I do have this on DVD. So this is upgrading the DVD version I have. That's the original Carrie with Sissy Spacek, by the way, because there's three different versions of Carrie, if I'm not mistaken. I have one of the remakes. There's another one that I don't have. So I think it's all together in total three versions of Carrie. But this is the best. Dog Soldiers. Now, I don't know anything about this. I never saw it, but I heard really good things about this. When I was looking at it, um, I actually ran a trailer and it looked really good. It's rated pretty good on imdb i think it's like a 7274 so pretty good um it looks interesting but i heard a lot of good things about this one it's called dog soldier dog soldiers we'll check it out so that's from the movies and game store on ebay next we're going to go into um the really big haul from go peachy go peachy is um before when i was dealing with uh, on ebay i was really buying from second sale and blow it out of here but Go Peachy, their deals is insane. They have, you got to check them out. They got, you know, two for two for this. Uh, buy, they got one where it's like buy six, get eight free. Certain titles, of course, but they got buy four, get four free. It's crazy. You just got to check them out. It's called Go Peachy. It's a reseller on eBay. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at what we got from Go Peachy. It's like 24 titles. The Girl on the Train. Sleepless with Jamie Foxx. I saw this movie um, not too long ago. I thought it was all right. Not too bad. And I saw this one the day I got it. It's called Uma. Uh, this one was really good. It, it wasn't like great, but it was good. It was a good popcorn watch. It was. It's a, um, about a woman and her daughter. And her mom's, the, the mother's mother spirit comes back to haunt her. Really interesting movie. I, I really did enjoy this one. It's called Uma. Again, it's probably... In the same realm as a popcorn flick, I wouldn't really put it above a popcorn flick. So this is like popcorn flick status. Act of Valor. I don't think I saw this one. Here's a hood classic right here with Harvey Keitel, John Turturro, and Delroy Lindo, uh, Mackay Fife from okay Isaiah Washington, Keith David. An all-star cast in this one. This is called Clockers. This is a really, really good hood uh, hood movie. This is, you know, this is right up there with Boys in the Hood, Juice, um, uh, Menace to Society. It's up there with like fresh strapped. It's up there with all of those. Mulan one and two. This is a DVD upgrade for me on the Mulan. I've never had two. Anything else is an upgrade? Okay, no. All right. The live action version of Aladdin. I never saw this. I got Disney Plus and I never sat down to watch this. I'm definitely going to have to check this out one day. Hearts War. Bruce Willis, Colin Farrell. Before I Go to Sleep with Nicole Kidman. This one looks really good. I didn't see this one yet, but it looks really, really good from what I saw. I ran the trailer for it. It looked good. I like some of Nicole Kidman's stuff. She was excellent in that movie, The Others. Really good movie. This is a DVD upgrade. The Taking of Pelham 123 with John Travolta and Denzel Washington. I really did like that one. Appaloosa. You got uh, 
Viggo Morrison, Jeremy Irons, Renee Zellweger, Ed Harris. Really solid cast in this one. And I saw that one not too long ago. Maybe, I'm not going to say not too long ago. A couple years ago, I saw this one. Now, this one is a cult classic. I, I, I like this one. It's, it's, it's not one of my favorites, but this is a movie that I'm always down to watch. Equilibrium. Christian Bale, Tay Diggs. Solid movie. Now, here's one that I'm definitely going to check out. I'm going to watch this one sooner than later. You got Colin Firth, Tom Hardy, John Hurt, Toby Jones, Mark Strong, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Gary Oldman. Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy. This looks really, really good. Again, I didn't check this one out yet, but here it is. This is a trash movie, but again, with um, Go Peachy, it was like buy, you buy so many, you get so many free. So in scrolling through and picking out the free ones, I was I qualified for half of this um, haul was free because I bought half. Basically, that's what it all comes up to. So I just had to pick stuff to fill my cart. So I picked Prom Night. This movie is not that good. This is this pales in comparison to the original Prom Night. Not a good movie, but I had to fill my cart. Wild Horses. I never saw this one, but again, I ran a trailer for it. It looks really good. You got Robert Duvall, James Franco, and Josh Harnett. Looks looks good. Now, I saw this one. Me and my wife watched this one about three days ago. It's called Held. This one right here, I may have to come back and do a review on this one. This was really, really good. I'll give you a quick, a quick uh, blow-by. So you got this married couple who went to like they i guess they went to like something like an airbnb like a little getaway they was having problems in their marriage and this guy stalks them but it's an interesting plot twist at the end of the movie you're gonna like this one it's called held very good movie uh by magnet films magnet they got from from what i'm gathering i saw a couple of trailers from their stuff they got some decent horror titles. Magnet Films. i am definitely got them on my radar now. Mary, Gary Oldman. I did watch this one. Uh, again, I'm a Gary Oldman fan, so whenever I get a title with him, I try to watch it as soon as possible. So I'm definitely going to watch that Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. This was, um, I'm going to put this in the realm of a popcorn flick. It wasn't all that great, and I don't think it was Oldman fault, of course, but the script was... It was good. It, it, it was good, but it was about this boat that was a, like a cursed boat, and it lures you uh, really far out to sea, and it does things to you. It haunts you. It, it's a lot of paranormal activity going on on this boat. It's hard to really describe it, but this is a solid movie. It's not one that I would recommend you rush out to get, but if you're in a position where you can get this for a few bucks, I will go ahead and grab it. But I would recommend you go buy Held. I would recommend that. Smoking Aces 2. I got Smoking Aces 1 on DVD, so why not? Ninja. This was a corny movie, but again, I had to fill my cart. Judas and the Black Messiah. This was fantastic. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya and Lakeith Stanfield, they both were excellent in this movie. I mean, excellent. I don't know who I like more. I think I like Lakeith Stanfield a little bit more than Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya isn't bad. Lakeith Stanfield is just a really, really good actor, and I'm hoping to see him do a lot more. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Lakeith Stanfield. They don't like his personality. He doesn't bother me. He's cocky as all hell, but eh, whatever. He's a good actor. Reasonable Doubt. I saw like bits and pieces of this one when it was on the streaming services. And I think I saw bits and pieces of it on Netflix. It was okay. It wasn't nothing to write home about. But since it's a Sam Jackson movie, and again, I had to fill my cart, I grabbed it. This is one that I did like. And I saw this one years ago. And I liked it. And I got it. Wolfman. Again, it's not it's not great, but it's good. This Now, this is... A step above a popcorn movie. So you got uh, Benici Del Toro. You got Anthony Hopkins. You got um, Weaving. Uh, man, I always forget. Uh, Hugo Weaving is in here. I always forget his name. So 
So it's a good cast in there. The Rock version of Hercules. This was fun. This was just a fun, entertaining movie. This right here, for me, this is a step above. This is like two steps above a popcorn movie. This is entertaining. I did like this movie. Now, I think the critics trashed it, but I liked it. I thought this was good. I was very well entertained. Dwayne Johnson, he really entertained me in this movie. And this is the extended cut, so I don't know what that means yet because I didn't watch this particular cut, but I've seen it before. And I know extended cuts usually mean more footage, extra footage, so... Face Off. This is a DVD upgrade for me. I had Face Off in my collection on DVD since it first came out. So this is a good upgrade for Face Off. I don't think Face Off is available on 4K, but this DVD should be really good because the D, I mean, Blu-ray should be really good for this because I can watch the DVD right now and it looks pretty good. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Now, this movie was good. This was like two steps above a popcorn movie also. Um, I like what they do with the Jack Ryan character, how different actors play Jack Ryan over the years. I really like, I like that. I want, I would like to see, um, speaking of, uh, you know, like Jack Ryan, I would like to see Alex Cross come back and, and please no Tyler Perry. You know, the movie Alex, I'm just veering off here for a quick second, guys. With, with the Jack Ryan character, you had Ben Affleck play him, Harrison Ford play him. And all the movies were pretty good, and this is no different. This is a really good movie and a good spin on the Jack Ryan character. I would really like to see Alex Cross be played by somebody like Idris Elba, you know, because they can actually reinvigorate that character. Tyler Perry, that was not a good choice. That was a lousy choice for that. And he ruined the movie because the guy who played opposite him was actually pretty good. Again, that's my little rant and takeoff from the uh, video. So now we're back. This is something that I really... Really, uh, in fact, I'm going to do the, the crown jewel at the end. Usually I show you guys the crown jewel, but I'm going to do it very last, and I'll tell you where it came from. Obviously, it came from Go Peachy, but we'll do that last. I'm not even going to show you. So that's everything from eBay. That's from the uh, movie and game store, two titles, and the rest came from Go Peachy. Now we're going to slide over to Best Buy. This is an all 4K haul. All seven titles are on 4K. I'm dabbling and dabbling in 4Ks. I, I realize now that all the new titles that I buy, brand new, are going to be 4K. Anything used can be Blu-ray. I'm no longer buying DVDs unless it's a movie that's only available on DVD and I want it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. No Time to Die. Uh, this was an excellent Bond movie. This is probably the second best Daniel Craig Bond movie. Um, I still think Casino Royale is the best one. To me, Casino Royale reignited my interest in Bond. Um, don't get me wrong, Pierce Brosnan was good as Bond, but Casino Royale... Now, it can be argued who's the better Bond between Daniel Craig and Pierce Brosnan. That can be argued all day. But there's no doubt that Casino Royale, that movie, was awesome. And this one here is awesome, too. This is definitely better than the ones that came after Casino Royale. This was a great way for Daniel Craig to retire from Bond. No doubt that was a solid movie and a great performance. The Suicide Squad. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, and I know I'm going to probably get some side eyes in the comment section, but I like the original Suicide Squad better than this one. This one was... I, I could not... Wrap my head around this one. I really enjoyed the first one better than this one. Let me know in the comments if you like this one better than the original Suicide Squad movie. I think the original one was better than this one. That's just my opinion. Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Snyder's Cut. I, I never had Justice League. I didn't want it. But the Snyder Cut, yeah, definitely. I said I'll go ahead and pick it up on 4K. Here's one. Nobody. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now. This is probably the most unassuming beat em up uh, action movie I've ever seen. I was totally blown off by this, like blown away, not blown off, blown away by this movie. It was really, really good. And then I was wondering, why is this movie so good? And it was just, it's from the writer of John Wick. And you could tell this got a lot of John Wickness to it. This got a lot of Wickness. This movie is really, really good. I mean, this is. Go call, uh, uh, call Saul, or is it Don't Call Saul, whatever. This is him, So and he's a comedian. He did, he did some stuff, but to see him in an action movie, it was good. It was refreshing. It was different. 
I really enjoy Nobody. And this is a movie I can watch over and over again. And I'm hoping to see a second one. I really liked it. This is a DVD upgrade for me. This is 300. I didn't want it on Blu-ray. I, I went straight to the top of the food chain for this one. I love 300. Definitely one of my favorite movies. Another DVD upgrade. Speed. Now, I have, still have Speed 2 Cruise Control on DVD. I really have no interest in upgrading that, but if I saw it on Blu-ray for, for a few pennies, I doubt that they release Speed 2 on 4K. But if I see it on, and it's on Blu-ray, but it's not really easy to find. It's not everywhere. But if I catch Speed 2 Cruise Control on at least Blu-ray for like three, four, maybe five bucks, I'll grab it. But Speed is a classic. I love Speed, and to get it on 4K, that's what's up. I just saw this recently on one of the, um, where did I see this at? I saw this on, I forget where I saw that, but I just saw this recently. This is a fantastic movie. It's called Whiplash. You got to check this one out. DVD upgrade, and, and this is a Kino Lorber release, Misery, on 4K. You know, some of my DVDs, all of my DVDs are over here. You can't see them all, but it's two, it's... This table right here is another one right next to it, full of DVDs. Certain DVDs, I will wait. I won't even go to Blu-ray. I'm going to wait till a 4K come out. I'm starting to get into 4Ks a little bit more now. I think I have about 60. But some movies, I'm going to skip Blu-ray and go right to 4K, like Heat. I think a 4K is coming for that. Even though I got that on Blu-ray, that's one of my favorite movies, so I'm going to give it the 4K treatment. Um, seven. I'm waiting for seven to come out on 4K. It's already on Blu-ray, but I'm going to wait. Um, just certain DVDs, I'll just wait for the 4K, if the 4K come, which I think it will on some of the titles that I really, really like. But this is Misery on 4K. Dune. Now, this movie, to me, wasn't as good as the, the original Dune. But I will say this about this movie. The sound... And the way it was shot, it's a beautiful movie. It is an absolutely stunning to look at movie. If you got the right TV and the right, and the right sound setup, this is a beautiful, beautiful movie. It's a boring movie at times, but it's a very beautifully well shot, um, well scored, beautiful movie to watch. And if you are a serious collector, this one, you got to do the 4K for this one. Um, I didn't see the um, the uh, the uh, Blu-ray version, but I saw it on HBO Max, and it was a high. It was a 4K. I do believe it was a 4K version, and it looked really good. It was just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful movie. It reminds this movie reminds me of Jungle Cruise. A lot of people didn't like Jungle Cruise, but Jungle Cruise was a beautiful movie to just watch. It was shot well. The colors, it just was beautiful. You know, guys, some movies are just beautiful to watch. Okay, so that's everything from Best Buy. Next, we got Goodies Disc Exchange. And I got quite a few from there. The Little Mermaid. Bambi. Hotel Artemis. This was really good. I, I, I enjoyed this one. I saw this one on a streaming service. Um, I'm going to say during the quarantine, I was like watching a lot of different things. And this was on. And this was really good. Vince Vaughn, Brawl in Cell Block 99. I did not see this one. I ran the trailer for it. It's got a good IMDb. Um, it looks really, really good. So I'm going to be checking this one out in the near future. This is a DVD upgrade. American History X. This is also a bittersweet DVD upgrade because I'm going to be parting ways with my Buena Vista edition on DVD. For the blu-ray version and this blu-ray version is it, it's stripped down it's a single disc it, it's just a really stripped down version it's really hardly any special features compared to the buena vista version on dvd and i might keep that that particular version even though i don't like to have two versions of the same movie i know plenty of people who do that but i don't have space for that my collection is too big for that um so yeah i got the six cents i had to upgrade it on blu-ray bittersweet here's another one this is another bittersweet upgrade um again this is i have a buena vista edition of this movie 
on DVD with tons of special features. I mean, Buena Vista, those editions are chock full of special features and bonus content and everything else. But I got it on Blu-ray. Killer Elite, a good, good movie. You got a great solid cast in here. De Niro, Statham, really good. Stallone, Lock Up. I didn't see this when I heard nothing but good things about it. Stallone, I'm looking at the back here. Donald Sutherland, a really, I mean, Donald Sutherland, that's enough to make me want to buy right there. DVD upgrade coming up. Interview with the Vampire. I'm upgrading my DVD version. Days of Thunder. Um, why not? <laughs> Here's one that um, I saw this before over at Goodies Disc Exchange, and I never bothered to pick it up. But I actually scanned it into IMDb Movies when I was there, and it came up with a rating of over like 7 something, like 7.4. I'm like, whoa. And I know, I, again, I always say don't you know, hang your hat on that rating, but you can use it as a guide. If a movie is generally rated that high, it's something to it. Buried. Ryan Reynolds and Buried. I didn't see it. It looks good. I'm dying to check this one out, though. And I swore I had this one on DVD, but I didn't. The Fighter. Christian Bale, Mark Wahlberg. This movie is good. I've seen this movie a couple times. I thought I had it, but I didn't. So that's good. I got it now on Blu-ray. And if I would have had this, it most definitely would have been on DVD. Because I, if I did own this movie, I would have owned it some years ago. And this is a two-disc version with the DVD and the Blu-ray. Good, cool, awesome, and a digital copy. Here's one. Joan of Arc. Now, this is a Kino Lorber release. I have quite a few Kinos now in my collection, but here's Joan of Arc. This looks really good, so I wanted to pick this one up and add it into my collection. Artificial Intelligence. I just said, why not? Here's one that's on DVD. I don't believe this is available on anything other than DVD. And I've never seen this movie before. It looks good. Great cast. It's called Rat Pack. You know, you got um, Don Chato, Ray Liotta, and John Matenga from like Criminal Minds and stuff and, and other things. I guess they're supposed to be like Sammy Davis Jr., Frank Sinatra, and guys from that era. It looks really interesting. I saw it on DVD. I actually did a quick Google search to see if this was available on anything else other than DVD. And I didn't see anything, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. So that's everything from Goody's Disc Exchange. Now, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you, before we do the recap, I'm going to show you the crown jewel of the collection, of the, of the pickup, this entire pickup. I'm going to start holding the crown jewel to last. I've been showing you guys the crown jewel, but here's the crown jewel of this pickup. Rome. I don't know if you guys remember this. This was a, a limited TV series that came out uh, years ago. Um, it was so good. The acting in this was good. The way it was shot was good. This was a fantastic, this was an HBO original. A really, really good TV show. And... It's packaged so nice. Like, that box is a sturdy box. It's not one of them cheap cardboard covers. This is a cardboard box, but it's it's nice. It feels nice. And this is how your movies is packaged. It's like a book, you know? It, it's really nice. You even got the little, uh, you know, the little marker right here. And let's go ahead and I'm going to, we're going to open it up. Beautiful. Look at that. Rome. We just want to look. We want to skim through it. You got some you got some literature in there, some nice beautiful pictures. More pictures, more information, then you got your disc. More another picture, more information, a disc. Same. This is Now this is nice packaging right here. Seriously, I this is what I like to see. When they take their time and give you your money's worth. You feel like you got your money. Especially if you bought this new. I bought this used. But if you bought this new, you'll feel like you got your money's worth. This is nice. Beautiful presentation. And I think that's what's missing from a lot of DVD sets versus... I mean, that's what's missing from a lot of Blu-ray sets compared to the old DVD sets. When you bought nice DVD sets, you really felt like you got your money's worth. Between bonus content, special features, packaging, you really felt like you got your money's worth. With the Blu-ray sets, in order to get that level of presentation, you're really going to spend some money. Beautiful. Again, this is very nice.
and that's it. This is nice. This is, I, I like stuff like this. This is a really nice presentation. Really, really nice. I, I like that. I, I, I like stuff like that. So this came from Go Peachy, and this is the crown jewel of this haul. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do what we always do real quick. Let's recap everything so you guys can get a final look at what we got. Starting from Go Peachy, we got Rome. That's the complete series. It's two seasons. Both are there. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Face Off. Hercules. Wolfman. Reasonable Doubt. Judas and the Black Messiah. Ninja. Smoking Aces 2. Held. This is a D recommend. Mary. I recommend this one too. Wild Horses. Prom Knight. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Equilibrium, Appaloosa, The Taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3, Before I Go to Sleep, Hearts War, Aladdin, Milan 1 and 2, Clockers, this is a D recommend, Act of Valor, Uma, Sleepless, The Girl on the Train, Dog Soldiers, Carrie, from Best Buy, Dune, I will only recommend Dune if you don't have HBO Max. And if you want a movie that's gorgeous, that's beautiful, that's got the sound, it's got that wow factor, if you're really trying to show off the power of your of your big, beautiful 4K, high-def, ultra-deluxe, mega TV, and your Dolby Atmos surround sound setup, if you're really trying to show it, showcase that to maybe you're having somebody over for movie night, you really want to showcase your system, this is a good movie to do it with. Trust me, the sound, the visuals, everything is there. The story, eh, the story got dips in it. I mean, one minute you're up, the next minute you're down, the next minute you're up, the next minute you're going to sleep. So this is one that you might want to watch during the day when you're wide awake. I'm just saying, it's not a horrible movie. It's, it's just not, it's just not there. Misery. Whiplash. This is a D recommend all day. Speed, 300, 300, Nobody, this is a D recommend all day, uh, The Snyder Cut, Justice League, Suicide Squad, yeah, I mean, it's a good look, again, it's a good looking movie, great sound, looks good, it's on 4K, I mean, that's your thing. And, if you, and a lot of people like that movie. It did very well. It even spinned off the Peacemaker show. So it was a, a lot of people liked it. I just, I'm not going to say I disliked it, but I prefer the original Suicide Squad movie to that one. No Time to Die. Great movie. A great send off for Daniel Craig. Fun fact, Daniel Craig was the, the longest running James Bond actor. He actually played Bond longer than Sean Connery. And, uh, shit. Sean Connery and, eh, I forgot. But he's the longest running Bond actor. I think he played Bond for like 16, 17 years. From Goody's Disc Exchange, I picked up Rat Pack. Looks really interesting. I don't know, I mean, we'll see. AI. Joan of Arc, a Kino Lorber release. The Fighter. Buried, Days of Thunder, Interview with the Vampire, Lock Up, K-1, 
Killer Elite. A bittersweet, unbreakable. I got to see my Buena Vista go. Or maybe not. More than likely it will go. The Six Cents, another bittersweet. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep those because I just don't have the space for them. American History X. Cell Block 99. Uh, Brawl in Cell Block 99. Hotel Artemis. Bambi. The Little Mermaid. And I do everything. Yeah. Rome. Again, the crown jewel of the pickup. So that's everything. Thanks for watching. This was a long one. Haven't done a long pickup video like this in a long time. I and I and I started making the pickup video shorter, but I really wanted to do a big one. And every now and then I am going to do a big pick. I used to always do large pickup videos that would take like 30 minutes like this one. And I got away from that because uh, I just thought the pacing was a little slow and uh, I got a little feedback. But I wanted to do a long one. I haven't done a long one in a long time. So here it is. This is your long 53 title pickup video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But before you go, I want you to have the Kelvin Timeline Star Trek Digital Codes. This is all three of the Kelvin Timeline Star Trek movies. Let's get in close real good so you can see. So that's that. And because I love you so much, I'm going to give you the code for Annabelle. This is Annabelle Comes Home. And I'm going to give you the Curse of Ayurona. I haven't seen you guys in a few weeks. I think it's been almost three weeks since the last time I saw you guys. So there's, there's three digital codes. Nice pickup. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. We'll get back into the take tens and the take fives in a little bit. I might even branch off and do some solo film reviews, movies that I watch. I'll come back and review them. And the first review I think I'm going to do is we're going to review the movie Held. I just gave you a little brief, but I think I might actually review it. Go like dive a little deeper into it. And the movie Mary, I just saw that one too. So thanks for watching.